Hi, welcome to GospelInterviews.com. I'm your host, Larry W. Robinson. I am so excited to get another opportunity to bring you information that I believe is going to really transform your life. My guest today happens to just be one of my favorite singers on the planet, the one and only <laughs> Latrice Pace. <laughs> Hi, Larry. How are you, my friend? I'm fine. Well, thank you for such a fine compliment. <laughs> oh, wow. I am so excited. I'm honored to have you on the broadcast today. Of course, uh, everybody knows you're one of the official Anointed Pace Sisters. Yes. And um, on the latest release, I know you guys just recorded a new one. but We just, did. Yeah. But, well, you know what? Tell me a little bit about that, and I'll tell you a surprise. So tell me about the new one real quick. First of all, we were really excited that uh, Ace of Ward um, pr agreed to produce it for us. Okay. And um, he just he just brought a new spin to our sound and our flavor and our style, and we're really excited about um, what he brought to the table as well as what we wrote and just everything that surrounded the entire project. We're excited. All right. And so when is that? Is it still in production or is due? When is that due? It is. It is. Um, the street date is September twenty second. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes. Now, let's talk about uh, the one that just came out. Well, not just came out, but came out before this particular new project. Right. And the song that really got me through some days was Contentment. My Lord, you and me too. <laughs> that is the song. <laughs> was, was you, you and me too. Was you like in my prayer time when that song came I about? <laughs> <laughs> I probably was. But that just comes from, you know, being connected to the source. That's true. Um, and when you're connected to the source, it's not only ministering to you and your situation, mm -hmm. but you're, t you're touching thousands of people around the world that you have no idea you're touching until you encounter them and they, they make statements like that, you know, like mm -hmm. that song really spoke to a situation or you must have been eavesdropping or, you know, <laughs> things like that. It's just all a part of being connected to the source. That's true. Well, you know, truth be told, like, it's kind of like that, that, that whole CD was like a, a soundtrack to, to many of our lives because you got, like, strategic, wow. strategically ordered. You know, yeah, I'm like, you know, wow. That was written by the late Kayla Parker. Oh wow! Okay. And we were we were so fortunate to have like a piece of her on our CD before you know she tr actually transitioned. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when we heard it, we were like yes, because after you know being out of the industry or out of the eye for so long, mm -hmm. that what that song was just very reassuring that mm -hmm. okay. In spite of all that we've gone through and encountered, our steps were strategically ordered that, by God. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I literally. And then uh, I'll do one more because I can go talk about them on and on and on. But then another <laughs> song, it looked like y'all all, did y'all all just like have a big Bible study one day? Because everybody was talking about this scripture in Zephaniah. Um, for, yeah. You see it. So tell me a little bit about that, too, because that's a powerful song as well. Actually, what we did before the um, the the CD came out and before we went, went into production, actually, mm -hmm. and uh, we didn't we didn't want to speak of it before, but we all went on a, a forty day consecration oh, with wow. um, yeah with nothing but but veggies, no meat, no nothing, just mm -hmm. all veggies, mm -hmm. a forty day consecration, and it was basically to um, so we could be connected to write the songs and to make sure that you know the the correct songs were being placed and that God's will would be done with the project in spite of what we wanted, in mm -hmm. spite of our intentions, you know, ultimately we were going to sing it and God, okay, we release it to you mm -hmm. after we, you know, consecrated ourselves before him. Well, I mean, y'all did a wonderful job, one of my favorite um, projects of all time. So thank you so very much for just heeding the voice thank of God. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Well, um, you have been asked on numerous occasions, uh, and of course so have I, about several different things about the industry. Well, because, yes. you know, obviously because people see you backgrounding for quite a few people. Uh, right. I think namely now Donald Lawrence. Uh, yes. You're with yes. him. And, uh, yes. you know what, I'm a, I'll do even better than that. Just tell them a little bit about some of the, because we've seen you in movies. Um, right. We, you've just right. been everywhere. <laughs> and you're quite the, <laughs> look, I, I've been telling people, and, and this is our first time I get to tell you, well, I, I told you before too, and you're quite the fashion guru. Uh, oh, oh, wow. Well, thank you. <laughs> hey, I, I have a friend that, that, that passed, Ken Cook. Many people know him. Oh, yeah. He used to say, well, hey, I do the best I can with what I have. All right. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, so, uh, you know. <laughs> all right, but just yeah. tell the listening audience, just, of course, you know, we talked about the fact that, uh, you, you know, you're one of the official members of the Anointed Pace Sisters, but just tell them a little okay. bit some of the other things that we may not know that... Um, well, I've actually sang with um, William Murphy on his uh, first CD, mm-hmm. uh, and Nesby went out on tour with her and Al Green. Um, I'm, I'm actually I'm featured um, on Jennifer Holiday's upcoming CD mm. that'll be out this fall. Is it gospel? And I basically, it's it's more inspirational or um, classic love songs, okay, love okay. cover tunes, things like that. Um, so I'm excited about that. I'm doing all the BGVs. Um, I've and of course with Donald and through Donald, I've worked with Pastor Hezekiah Walker, mm-hmm. Karen Clark Shear, um, just so many people I can't even think right now. Uh, Vanessa Bell Armstrong, uh, Byron Cage, Shay Simpson, Darwin Hobbs. Travel with him quite a bit as well. Um, just done so many things, and with also with connected with Donald, we did the um, Mega Fest with Bishop Jakes, and got a chance to do bags for uh, Mary Mary, what's uh, Michelle Williams, Patty Labelle, wow. Stephanie Mills. It's it's just been an incredible journey. So the so the scripture that says a man's gift will make room for him and bring him before great exactly. and has rang tr- true in your life, right? It it really has, and I tell people all the time that when you seek to do these things, you have to be careful because um, a lot of times, it, this, this this just to do BGVs full time, it has been a walk of faith, and it's been a gift that God has exposed or or um, allowed me to see, and it has brought me before good men, great men, and and because of that, or, or me yielding to Him. And and realizing that it's an assignment and not mm-hmm. just a source of provision, mm-hmm. but it's an assignment. I see that he has he has made the provision mm-hmm. instead of me seeking the provision. I sought after my assignment. How did you make that distinction? Because you know so many people are trying to make it happen themselves. Yeah. But how did you say? Well, you know what, God, whatever your will is for my life, that's what I'm going to do. I was up against the wall, like many of us. You know, it takes. You know, some hard times, it takes some tears, it takes your heart being shattered, you know, before you actually come to that point. Like, okay, I've been trying to do this in my own strength. That's why I've ended up frustrated and vexed and just wanting to give up and walk away from stuff. And I was listening to a message that Bill Winston was um, preaching once, and he was saying when we seek at the provision, that's where we messed up. God didn't say seek after provision. He said seek my kingdom and seek to be righteous. And once you do that, those provisions will be there. So throughout my life, every time I sought an assignment, I realized the provision was made. I was able to meet everything I had to do monthly with a little left over and sometimes just enough. Hmm. But I sought that assignment and not provision. There have been assignments I've taken and not got paid a dime. Mm. Because I saw that this was an assignment. I saw that there was a seed that needed to uh, have been sown. Mm-hmm. So it, it just sometimes it just takes being up against the wall to realize, okay, I'm seeking provision and not assignment. That's true. You know what? Let's just stay right here just for a moment. And I'm glad you, you started mentioning that because this is you. And the reason why for the contact today, you have a note on uh, Facebook. We're friends on Facebook that says yes. how to become a background vocalist. And of course, yes. as I was reading it, I was like, oh, we got to get this information to a broader audience. So uh, first of all, thank you so very much for being with me today. Well, thank you for wanting to get it out. All right. Let's talk a little bit, and, and really in layman's terms, because there have been a lot of discussion uh, recently about the kingdom. One of the primary reasons for that, of course, is from Donald Lawrence's CD, uh, yeah. talking so much about the kingdom. So it, I don't I don't want, and it really uh, kind of hurts my heart for people to, to just start talking about it as if it's just another Christian buzzword. Because the mm-hmm. kingdom is so mm-hmm. vital and understanding the principles is so vital to our lives. So just in layman's term, tell the listening audience, at least in your opinion, what does it really mean to seek the kingdom and how did you come to that revelation? Okay, first of all, I must say I I wanted to seek out what it meant mm-hmm. because I too kept hearing it a lot and I didn't want to just grab a, a, a fancy church cliche mm-hmm. because everybody was saying it and not know what it meant and not be able to apply it to my mm-hmm. life. 